An Indiana group making sure Hoosiers are learning from the past and not repeating it. They're honoring a 19-year-old black man who was lynched in Indianapolis. He and his story sat in an unmarked grave ever since. CBS 4's Aaliyah Blackburn shows us the story they uncovered. The fact that George has been in an unmarked grave for 100 years really tells to how much work we still need to be doing. The story of George Tompkins is a secret that's been buried in Floral Park Cemetery. The young black man, fresh from Kentucky, had hoped to start his own life in Indianapolis. George Tompkins was lynched at age 19. And research says it happened in 1922, here, what's now known as Riverside Park. For more than a year, the Indiana Remembrance Coalition has worked to find the truth behind George's story, like the fact that he wasn't accused of a crime and his death was ruled a suicide for almost 100 years. It is an important moment for, I think, our community and our group for that report to be corrected and properly listed as a lynching, as a murder. It's a story that holds familiar ties to so many others across the country. These are things that happen. They are sad, they are horrific, but they are true. Susan Hall Dodson with the Indiana Historical Society says George is one of 18 lynchings that the Equal Justice Initiative even recognizes as happening in Indiana. The fact that for 100 years later, he is in an armored grave, why is that? It is not just because family couldn't afford it or didn't want to remember it. There's also a level of terror that comes on the back sides of lynchings. Now, the IRC wants to make sure George's story is told. Now it's set to unveil his own headstone as a reminder for future generations. We must um, share the memories of these individuals' lives. There were fully thriving individuals of this country working hard like other people whose lives were taking way, way too soon. In Indianapolis, Leah Blackburn, CBS4 News. The Indiana Remembrance Coalition, with help from other groups, city leaders, and volunteers, will unveil George's headstone in a service tomorrow. It's set for 11 a.m. at the Floral Park Cemetery over on North Holt Road. It'll be live streamed. We have the link to the Facebook page posted at CBS4Indy.com.